what is going on? Happy days, happy days, happy podcast day to the people. Episode 31 of the TOD Project. Welcome, 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 Marcellus. How you doing today? I'm doing fantastic. Like, I'm not the type of person to flex. I'm not the type of person to boast and brag. But when you, when you wake up in a mansion and you got a nice view and you're, you're in your mentor's uh, six-bedroom home, uh, wraparound staircase, just nice views, automatically you're going to be up in a good positive energy and feel like you're a boss or somebody that's going to be successful or can be as well so that's how i'm feeling i'm feeling great you forgot to say the thing that you usually say oh no 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 <laughs> you know how, like drake said on i don't know if it was i know it was on that that one mixtape where it was like it was all like the six god thing i think that's what it's called where it literally no uh if you're reading it's too late he had a song that said i had to switch the flow up on these niggas i was getting too predictable so that's how I am. I always want to switch things. I don't want to keep on being continuously the same person or to keep saying the same shit over and over again. That's why I get parts in my hair. That's why I put glasses on or I do something different. Mm-hmm. Because if you're the same person that you were a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, you're not even, you're not growing. And uh, that's what we do. We, 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 we need to evolve as human beings. So I'm going to switch it up. <laughs> mm-hmm. I feel that. I feel that 100%. Um, but today, obviously, we got something that we're going to be talking about that uh, is, a, is a good thing to talk about. It's a good thing to keep in mind, um, especially when, you know, in the age of social media, seeing everyone do everything and um, people potentially getting on your nerves and, and you know, other things like that. But um, we'll get to that topic in a bit. I just want to say a little PSA um, a little bit right now. So, again, we do this because we, we love doing this. We love doing this podcast. So. All we ask is for you to, if you're on Apple Podcasts, give us that five-star rating. And if you're on Spotify, subscribe to the podcast or follow the podcast. Stay tuned. Keep keeping up with the keeping up with the uh, the posts and everything. We would greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate that. Obviously, if you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button as well. That helps out so much. Um, but yeah, anyways, Marcellus, what will we be talking about today? We recently talked about that before we hopped on, but let the people know. Honestly, staying in your own lane um, when it comes to your success uh, and where you want to go in life. Man, I, this right here was really profound. Uh, I've heard one of our t- top leaders uh, in the company that I'm a part of outside of Triumph Company. Uh, they said that, you know, one thing they learned best in school was to keep their eyes on their own paper. And what we're saying is that to stay focused on really what you got going on, you really have to do that because you can get distracted over there. You can look over it. Like if you're in the safety on the highway and you see a Lamborghini, you oh shit, there goes a Lamborghini, and you're going crazy. You might mess around a wreck, or you may you may feel some type of way because there's a Lamborghini riding by, but you may be in a Toyota Camry. So you have to focus on your own paper. You never know where somebody's being. Like it's just like the gym. That person might be might have been working out six to 10 to 12 years already in advance. And then you're wanting to go up there and compete with somebody that's on freaking level 20 when you're on freaking level two. Mm-hmm. And that's really not a good thing to do because that causes anxiety. That causes you to feel bad on yourself. And just, you just, that's something you just need to do is stay in your own lane. Work mm-hmm. on you. Yeah. One of the best things I've heard is don't compare your chapter two with someone's chapter 10. Like you said that don't, don't say, don't compare when you're on level two, when someone else is on level 20, because everyone's journey is different, you know, keeping your head down, focusing on yourself. Like the only thing that is going to make the change in your life is yourself. So why focus on someone else's, someone else's journey, someone else's life, you know, um, obviously you're going to have buddies, you're going to have friends that, that influence some of your decisions, but ultimately your decisions make up how you succeed, how you go in life, what path you take, you know, those different things. So why, why look over, like for the instance that you said, why look over at someone else's paper when you should be worrying about your own answers, your own questions, your own choices and everything like that. So, I mean, it's something that I've improved on in my life. I was in high school. I was, not the most confident person on my decisions and everything. And I took a lot of outside inf- information um, and had that influence my life maybe a little too much. So being able to take those step backs and realize how much has this, how has this really influenced me? Or if there was something that, you know, someone else thought about and you're like, why the fuck didn't I think about that? You know, like why, like that happens all the time, but when it comes to making a big decision or making 
decisions for your best. Um, how do, how do I, how do I say this for that, that benefit you the best and, and are in your interest, you have to make those decisions you and you only. Bro, this reminds me of, uh, of this video I seen where literally there was a bunch of, there was a bunch of yachts. First, there was a small yacht that comes through, you know, something, you know, I wouldn't say it's mediocre because having a yacht is not mediocre. Not everybody has a yacht, but it was a smaller yacht. It was cool. Like, okay. Then you see a bigger yacht comes. This one's two story. Uh, got people on the top deck and everything. Then you see an even bigger yacht comes. And then guess what? The, the person that owns that yacht parks their boat inside the yacht. And the other two people on their yacht looking over like, whoa. So like you can forever compare. You can forever uh, want to compete with people because you, you, you're you always going to be in competition if you do that. Like literally like numbers, for instance, like I'm around people that make a lot of money. Right. I'm around people that make six, seven figures, eight figures. I see in their phones, I'm seeing the numbers they have and stuff like that. And me, I never, I never like just show them my all the money I make. I never show them all the numbers on my account because at the end of the day, numbers are infinite. You know, like numbers go on forever. So if you're always constantly ch chasing after a number, if you're constantly always wanting to compete with somebody else, it's different if you're an athlete. I completely understand that. But like just living your life in general and wanting to pay bills, want to do business, stuff like that. You got to focus on your own paper because you will you will always be chasing somebody else. You will always be going through that. And it's just really no point. You can save yourself a heartache. You can save yourself all the pains and struggles uh, from going through all that. And honestly, I think the best thing to do so that way you don't have to go through that. You find you a plan. You map out how you want your life to be in the next three to five years and you stick by that. If that person's goals don't match yours, then don't don't even worry about it. Like mm -hmm. um, and, and just really focus uh, headstrong on what you got going on and make a decision and, and stay disciplined to it. Like uh, this is even for me. Like there's th there's things that I know that I should not break. I, just know, I know that I should not be doing. I know it's not going to help me my purpose. So why would I do it? And also have a strong why. If you if your why does not make you want to cry, and you're probably wondering like, what is the, what is your true why? What is the true one? For example, I say you want to retire your mom and dad. You want to buy them a home. You want to uh, you know help your sister pay off all her student debt. You want to be able to open up a school, or you want to go have a you want to have a mansion, or you want to uh, be able to have a certain amount of money in the bank account for you and your family, right? So if you go against that, if you're spending the money wrong way, if you're not do investing if you're not studying if you're not on your grind you're basically slapping your parents in the face and telling them hey look i don't i don't care to retire you you can keep working or you're you're telling your wife or your future grandkids hey you guys are just going to keep struggling anyways because of my habits what i'm doing right now your your why has to be so strong that nothing's going to keep you from uh you know accomplishing your goals and standing your own freaking lane mm -hmm. the big thing that i got from from what you were just saying is is creating creating those goals creating your why really it all starts with that i mean we've we've talked about this so many times on this podcast and and the importance of of having a plan and having goals and and really having that purpose you know you're not going to be able to like you need something to focus on right if you don't if you're listening to this podcast right now and you don't have your why your goals figure that out before you listen to this before you worry about staying in your own lane because you don't even know what your own lane is yet you can't, you can't stay in your own lane if you don't know what your own lane is yet. So, mm. I mean, it all comes down to having that plan, knowing why you're doing what you're doing and knowing the purpose behind it, right? Everyone always searches for a purpose in life. Develop your purpose, develop what you want to strive for and put your head down, stick your fucking nose in the dirt and do what you got to do. Well, that's one thing I've noticed about successful people. They make a decision fast and they stick to it. Mm -hmm. and for instance love them or hate them on off the court like michael jordan is like look i'm gonna go out here i'm getting six rings you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna <laughs> lose i'm not losing the finals and he didn't lose the finals and he stuck with that and he worked his ass off every single day to have that and that's just exactly that's just what it is at the end of the day the god god the universe what you want to believe it has a strange way of giving that person that truly is determined where they want to be in their life god will help you god will put people in your life god will you know, put things in your life to mold you to get that, but it's just up to you to go through the test, trials, and struggles. Because I'll be real, staying in your own lane can be hard. It's hard. Mm -hmm. Um, you see people out here really like being successful, and you're not where you want to be. So, 
Uh, I truly, I love this topic because, golly, social media can be one of the worst places when it comes to this. Like, I have to, I have to limit my time on Instagram. Like, literally, Instagram to me is just me connecting to other people and doing stuff for business. You're not gonna catch me on here scrolling, looking at memes and all that stuff. Like, and if you do catch me doing that, it's because I'm literally bored and I have nothing else to do. So you have to cut out distractions. If you have to turn off those notifications on Instagram, Facebook, so that way you're not you know, looking at this other person's life and wasting time because time is the most valuable asset. It's the most valuable and the cheapest because time, we don't got to pay for time and it's so precious, but no, most people do not value their own time. And that's what stay in your own lane goes to because where your energy flows is where your energy goes. So if you got it squirting everywhere, if you're shooting, you're shooting your energy all over the place like a freaking machine gun, then you're not, you're not going straight for the kill. You're not going straight for the goal. You're not going straight for the success that you want. A sniper, right? A sniper, guess what they gonna do? They gonna get their sniper ready. They are gonna go up somewhere in a nice area where they can get a clean shot in the head and they're going to they're gonna be there and they're going to be patient, patient, pew, and then they're going to walk out and go do what they got to do. Now, I'm not condoning violence. I'm not coming. I'm just giving you guys, <laughs> I just want to give you guys a, a visual of what it means to be laser sharp focused and staying in your own lane, your own path. Those, those you know, those little blinders, uh, Jared, that the horses have in the horse races. 100%. A lot of people don't even necessarily know why they do that, but the reason why they do that is because so that a horse can just focus because they can get distracted. If they see, they look to the left, they look to the right, they'll get super distracted. And it, this goes into like the Michael Phelps race I seen. Like his last like Olympics, man, he was getting it. And all you see, you see pictures of people just watching him like, damn, look, that's Michael Phelps. Oh my God. And he just going fast as fuck in that water and just beating everybody. But maybe if you stayed in your own lane, you could beat Michael Phelps. You could be even greater than Michael Phelps. So um, that's my take on this on this conversation. So Jared, what do you do to stay in your own lane, uh, really focus on your own, your paper, so that way you can, you know, have the life that you want? Um, I mean, it it's a multitude of things. I I do find myself scrolling. I'm gonna I'm gonna say this first. I do find I do find myself scrolling on social media, but the things that I see, um, if there's something I want, you know, like I don't compare myself to others anymore. I see what they got and I'm like, hey, that looks pretty nice. I kind of want to, <laughs> you know, I'm I'm gonna use that as as my motivation. Um, so to kind of, to kind of touch on that social media aspect, I wanted to say that quick because yes, we're not saying scrolling on social media is a horrible thing. It's the purpose of scrolling on social media. If you're scrolling on social media to be bored, to look at memes, that's all you're going to see. If you're scrolling on social media to see things and, and, um, see things that are going to motivate you or you follow people that are your inspirations. That's the stuff that you're going to see. You know, there's purpose to that. We're not saying don't scroll on social media. You'll be a horrible person. But anyways, um, I use, I use a lot of um, just kind of sitting back and like almost meditative acts to refocus myself. Um, Whether it's visualization, whether it's um, whether it's a walk outside, whether it's reading, um, reading and, and doing things that constantly remind me of why I'm doing what I'm doing. That's what kind of puts me back on that track. Obviously I see my why every single day. I see my, I see my fiance every single day. I talk to my, my parents every single day. So that's my why that's my constant reminder. Right. Um, so for me, I really don't find myself getting like straying off the path that much. I'm, I'm very grateful that I have the things that matter to me the most in immediate access, right? I live with my fiance. Like I just said, I text my parents every single day. So there's no reason for me to find a, a reason to stray off path, right? Um, but it, I just use the constant reminder of of my why. I mean, we've been saying it a lot in this podcast. I feel like it's getting repetitive, but it's just that important, you know? How about you? How about you, my man? Journal! <laughs> my thoughts! Literally, this journal right here says thoughts. Uh, I actually picked this up at Staples the other day. And um, just putting down my thoughts for a day. I, I go back, I reflect on my day, or I'm going through my day reflecting and, and writing down things that I want because what you think about most, you become. 
And that goes over a lot of people's heads. It's simple. It's really simple, but it goes over a lot of people's heads. So I like to just, if I, I'm feeling some type of way, like literally last night, we were sitting, we were sitting around a table. Like it almost looks like a big ass conference table with probably around like 10 seats. We're all around the table. I'm at the head of the table. Vargas at the other end. We had a couple other people. We had, you know, I don't feel like naming everybody at the table because it was a lot of us at the table, our laptops. And you just, you know, I felt, I felt like, I wouldn't say sick, but I felt like maybe like anxiety was getting towards me. You know, like sometimes as a human being, you, you worry about what people think about you and you're like, oh shoot, you might be getting in your own head and ain't, ain't even just you. Cause like literally we all battle our own demons. I said, I was sitting there in the chair, just put my headphones in, listen to a 10 minute guy to visualization, dreamed and visioned the Marcellus that I want to be in this near future. And it literally, it made me tap into uh, happiness, joy. I felt more calm. I felt better. And that's really what I do. I do. I, I like to meditate, but not only just meditate and just like just breathe and sit there. Because obviously you want to be still, you want to be present. But I like to visualize where I want to be at, where I want to go. Because just because I'm not driving that Tesla right now, or that Lamborghini right now, or that Porsche right now, doesn't mean that I cannot go there in my mind. Mm -hmm. Because what you what you plant in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. And it's literally like that, that everything around you. I, I think I've talked about this on a podcast before. I don't know if I have for sure, but I'm just going to go ahead and make this clear right now. Look at this background. You see this, there's granite countertops around me. There's, there's a freaking... Uh, bookshelf case whatever you want to call that iphone all this stuff this started somebody's mind somebody sat down thought about this shit and then put it into physical form so your thoughts become things write down stuff in your journal because i remember literally three years ago the stuff that i wrote down in my journal i'm doing now like i said i wanted to travel the world i said i wanted to you know have an online source of income have a business and that allowed me to have it. And it's just a crazy way of the universe, like literally like saying, look, you're in your own lane, you're staying focused, you're writing, you're writing the goal down every day. You know what? I'm gonna put stuff in your way so that way you can get it. I'm not gonna just give it to you. Mm -hmm. So I love to meditate. It's wonderful. Another thing I like to do is work out. Um, I'm a type of person that I can work with, I can work out with or without headphones. So for instance, let's say I lose my headphones. I can go in and just tap into another frequency and just kill my workout because all I'm doing is I'm focused on what I'm, I'm doing. If I'm hitting chest, I'm focused on those reps, those sets right there at that moment at that time. Nothing else matters. Not no, not no dog down the street, not no my friends, my mom, sorry, mom, sorry, dad, but that's my focus time. That's my time to go straight Zen mode, straight Kaizen. And then uh, after I work out, you know, cause you're, what you're doing is you're, you're raising your endorphins in your body. You're oxidating the body because whenever you're working out, you're causing the body to actually have to, you know, get more oxygen flowing through the body, things like that. It's all down to a scientific level. And what it does is it's like, it just helps my mental clear, clears my mentality or my mental from any type of blockages or anything like that. And then guess what? That makes me better on the phone when I got to call somebody. It makes me better with a podcast like this. It makes me better to be able to focus when somebody's talking to me. It's just, it's like a meditation in itself. So there's, there's so many other things. And uh, another thing I like to do is I like to, I like to say affirmations or express gratitude. Like, what are you, what are you grateful for? What are you grateful for every day? That's what's going to allow you to be in that good state, that good vibration to be able to stay in your own lane and fix your situation. So, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Dropping those bars. I mean, honestly, I think, I think we dropped, we dropped a lot of information that I mean, it's helped us continuously, but it's, it's the, it's, it's that information, that small bit of 20 minutes worth of information that, I mean, we both live by every single day. Right. Um, personally, I don't, I've, I've said what I've, what I've had to say about this, you know, it's, yeah. it's those, those simple facts that it's, it's hitting those simple things over and over and over again and keeping those in mind that keep me personally on track. You know, it's, I now I I've now I don't even have to think about comparing myself or not being able to stay on track or struggling to find ways to get back on track because I've done it so often now it's like it's become set second nature just like it probably has for you so um I mean do you have <laughs> I mean personally I don't I don't think I have anything else to add about this it's it's the information I've said already I don't feel like I have to reiterate it um 
do you have anything else to to add my man all I, all I gotta add is this look your goals your vision your dream go fucking savage mode on it like literally um if you know if you know for a fact there's something you want to do in the next three to five years fuck it every day like just chop it away like it's already there like you walk in it be in flow state you think you think when jesus was walking on water he was thinking about some bullshit you think he wouldn't focus he was walking on water for a reason because he he tapped into a certain frequency and was able to walk on water and that's how powerful we are as a human being we can manifest things we can stay in our own lane we can have a great success without envying other people that's the main thing that people do i I'll never I've never will ever envy anybody. If you got envy in your heart and you listen to this podcast right now, you need to get rid of it. If you're sitting on this podcast right now and you've just literally been comparing yourself to everybody, get rid of that right now. Get you get you a freaking game plan. Run that thing up. I want to see you guys be successful as much as possible. Reach out to me and Jared. If you need somebody to talk to and maybe want somebody to answer some of the questions you may have to get through the struggles and trials and tribulations that you may be going through, then, hey, let me know what's good, man. I definitely, we have an email below. We're going to have our IGs below. Everything, guys. You know, we pull our hearts out. This podcast was called the TOD Project for a reason. Triumphed over defeat. And you're literally defeating yourself by envying another person, by wanting to be in somebody else's uh, lane his shoes and not even knowing exactly where they've been through to, to get exactly where they're going or exactly where they've been you know like for instance like Vargas is right over here you know what I'm saying he's a chairman 100 he's been through the business like six years you know so he had to go through the jungle he had to cut the trees down he had to cut the way for us and now literally all we got to do is just follow his footsteps the blueprint we ain't got to go through none of the mistakes or nothing like that so get you a mentor maybe somebody you can look up to to help you stay in your own lane and give you those nuggets and gems to get you going so that way your footprints are going towards success so yeah let's Ooh. get it okay okay well yeah guys i mean you you've heard it here first obviously marcellus went in on that last little moment but this has been episode 31 of the tod project again we thank you for listening this has been one that we hold dear to our hearts this topic helps us every single day but um but yeah we will see you guys next time in episode 32 take it easy have a great one